Hi, this is Lisa and with Coping with Yarn and today is day seven. It's actually really day eight, but I'm one day behind so I'll shoot two videos tomorrow. I thought I was going to do it today, but no, I didn't. Hi, Dexter. Um, so anyways, today I watched, um, actually I did a while back ago. I watched Stephen King's Children of the Corn from 1984. So this was directed by Fritz Kirsch and the cast, which I did not know this either. Looking back at these old movies, I didn't realize um, some of the actors that were in them. Like uh, Linda Hamilton from Terminator. She is one of the main characters in there. Um, Peter Horton, John Franklin, Courtney Gaines. And that's just a few. Um, yeah, this movie was good. It was creepy. Uh, the kids, ooh, <laughs> it was creepy. So this is 100 Days of Halloween, and it's a countdown to Halloween. Hi, Dexter, as well as um, a countdown uh, with Neva, Manic Mama Musings, uh, Potiversary which is October 29th for her. So, uh, there's a, um, we have quite a list now. Here's Dexter wanting to say hello. We have quite a few on the list now, and I'll list everybody down below in the collaboration of 100 Days of Halloween 2023. And some of us are doing Halloween facts. Some of us are reviewing movies. Some of us are doing both and doing Halloween makes. And so, um, yeah, we're just doing, you know, fun facts. I'm not doing any fun facts. I'm doing movie reviews and, ow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your leg got caught in my hair. <laughs> His leg got caught in my hair. Okay, so, there are a lot of Children of the Corn movies. Um, Tomorrow, I I watched today, and I'm going to rewatch it because I have a hard time paying attention sometimes when I'm really, like, reading a pattern and I'm paying attention more to my makes. <laughs> so I need to rewatch it. Um, so I'm, re I'm doing the modern take of it, and I know there's several of them, but I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Um, so... The 80, 1984, the original, uh, is about a young couple who is trapped in a remote town and a dangerous, where a, a dangerous religious cult of children believe that everyone over 18 must die. So, <laughs> so the small town, like there's like cornfields and that's where the children of the corn, because... They, they look Amish, and they're not Amish. They're from a small town. But just kind of the look of them and uh, some of their names <laughs> uh, fit. I don't know. Not fit, but just it was matched perfectly for what they were trying to accomplish. Let's just say that. Um, I really enjoyed it. I I think I first watched it when I was eight or something like that. And I was scared. I was, like, watching it outside. I was, like, peeking through my window from outside watching it because I got scared. Um, but this time around, that's Linda Hamilton. Like, I reg I recognized uh, some of the characters. Anyways, great movie. Um, it's not one of those, like, I can watch it at night by myself and not be afraid to go to sleep. Um, but it's just creepy though. Uh, yeah, there's some movies that I watch and I get scared. And like, I, I will only watch during the day because I don't want to be afraid at night because I'm a wuss. Um, anywho, do you want to see Suki, the wit, the witch gnome that I'm making? So I'm going by this year round gnomes. If you haven't um, bought this book, 
This is an awesome book. It's a book of patterns to crochet these little year-round gnomes. And so I'm going to do the November one, Halloween one, November one. This is Suki. That's what she looks like right there. And this is what I have of hers so far. So far, I got her hair done, um, and her hat needs to, I need to add more to the hat. I just started on the hat. So, um, I need to add, you know, the rest, her arm and legs, <laughs> Ooh, all that good stuff, the rest of the hat. Um, so that's how far I got on Suki and, oh, and okay so i'm gonna put a few pictures too because where i was yesterday for day seven today's actually day eight but i didn't do a video because we drove to salem gosh we're in the car for about eight hours <laughs> total yesterday um we went to enchanted forest so i'll put a few of the pictures there and I don't know if I can download it but oh yeah I did have a video I went on a log ride by myself my husband um, and like the kids didn't want to go on it and we don't want to leave the kids alone so my husband couldn't go down with me or he would have um, but he had taken a video of me going down the big hill and me screaming by myself <laughs> but I don't know if I can get it on here I'm not I might be dumb, so I don't know if I can actually do that. I don't know. I'll try to figure it out. I'll try to save it. Hmm. I don't know if I can. Anyways, on the way there and back. Um, I finished my Annie's Carrying Crochet project of a scarf with pockets. So I finished this project up while I was in the car. And so that's what I did. And the glorious thing about this is that I can give this one away and I can make, um, I'll give this one to Rogue Retreat and I can make more for gifts in the colors that um, my family and friends want. And so that's the great thing about carrying crochet. You keep the pattern and you can make more for gifts. You know, like Christmas is around the corner and, um, so yeah birthday gifts all that there you go so that's it for day seven okay i will let you know what my thoughts are on children of the core of the corn genesis <sighs> so far i'm really gonna try to pay closer attention to it again and see if it just what <laughs> so far i'm disappointed but i'll let you know okay bye guys be good okay we're going on ice mountain oh This is Hansel and Gretel's house. Let's see what we have inside. Porridge. Somebody's been eating my porridge too. <laughs> This is the Crooked House. Okay, this is the big log ride. I'm going on by myself. Okay, I am 
by myself going down this waterlogged ride. I better put it away.